Open rebellion is too dangerous, Master Kota. I know I owe you my life, but... You don't owe me anything. I told you on Cloud City that I can't help you. Not since I lost my sight. He's your hero, and it's his rebellion. Join us because he's asking you to. You are the first to really fight the Empire. We're not prepared to go to war yet. We need weapons and starships and people with the courage to use them. I don't know how many others will stand with us. But surely you know some who will. Well, yes, there are other senators who have spoken out against the Emperor. But they will be hard to convince. We just need to show them that the Empire is vulnerable. Let me meditate on that. I'm... I'm sure I can find the right target. In the meantime, Senator, gather your friends. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Master, he's here. You have received my message? Yes. Your mission goes well. I have recruited others to my cause, but now I need your counsel. My allies seek a major strike against the Empire. The Emperor rules the galaxy through fear. We must destroy a symbol of that fear. The Empire is building Star Destroyers above Raxus Prime. That shipyard is your next target. Thank you, Lord Vader. There is much conflict in you. Your feelings for your new allies are growing stronger. Do not forget that you still serve me. Ugh. I hate being him. I think he does too. Master. Juno. I came to find out where you wanted to go next. But it looks like you've already been told. Juno, this isn't what it looks like. Of course it is. You're still loyal to Vader. After he branded me a traitor and tried to kill you, you're still his... his... His slave. Then why did you defy Vader to rescue me? I needed someone to fly the ship! We both know that's not true. My being here has never been about my piloting. Sometime soon, you will decide the fate of the Rebellion, not your master. And when you're faced with that moment, just remember that I too was forced to leave behind everything I've ever known. Please, don't make me leave another life behind. And now we return to my least favorite level in the game, Raxus Prime. I cannot tell you how much I hate this stupid level, but this one really isn't as bad. Um, anyway, I think there's a holocron very much close to where we are right now. Over here maybe? Yeah, I know where it is. It's right on over here. This is actually one of those, uh, another one of those kind of really hidden ones, like, you're off the map right now. And we got a power crystal, Sigil, which reminds me of playing Shadows of the Colossus. Um, alright. So yeah, we got these familiar enemies again, the Rodians and the stupid ass stupid guys let's just try and finish this level as quickly as possible this is the ow this is the penultimate level though there's only this one and then the final level so we're really getting down to it not that many levels to go at all here's the next holocron and I don't know how I just killed that Jawa Alrighty. 
Although I have obviously leveled up quite a bit since my last trip to Raxus Prime. Um, I should be able to take down much of what they can throw at me pretty easily. Alright, let me make sure there's no more... Yeah, nope. Gotta bend these guys, because I'm a metal bender now. I wonder what the um, bonus objective is in this level. Let me check that out. Destroy the Imperial Tractor Tower. If I can find a way to do it, sure, why not? Seems kind of just as vague as Free the Sarlacc or that other one from a couple missions back. Oh boy, I was about to fall there. Hopefully this uh, Raxus Prime footage doesn't get corrupted like the last one did. That sucked, I had to redo that level. Okay, I can see the next one, or at least I can see where we're supposed to get the next one. Also, let's take a second to appreciate Starkiller's new outfit again. It is... kind of boring. Looks like he's wearing part of Darth Vader's mask, which is just a little weird. Oh, right, I can actually see the next two uh, holocrons right now. Oh man, he got some distance. I had a feeling that that bomb was going to knock me off. I'm glad it didn't, honestly. Go away. So yeah, the next one's just right in here. With uh, two Jawas for some reason. Oh, no, just a Jawa and a Rodian. False Power Sphere. So the next one, I actually wrote down in my notes, inside of Iron Man's Arc Reactor. And you can see, that's totally what that looks like. This one, I'm pretty sure, is hard to miss. Like, it's right there. And you have to go this way, so yeah. Alright, number four was in the middle of Iron Man's Arc Reactor. Alright, I got it. I can see all of them already. I can touch the cosmos. Let's get this guy first before the cutscene starts. Compressed green lightsaber crystal. Now I have to wait for a kind of cutscene to start. Oh no, there's Iron Man guys. Oh, but I'm invincible, so suck it! Suck it all of you terrible, terrible enemies. Why are all their health bars, like, so far down? No, this is why I hate attacking them head on, because they've got their stupid way to uh, avoid your attacks. No. I think the other enemies are actually shooting them. Oh, and here comes this for some reason. A dropship and a uh, ATST. That's cool, right? Where'd the other one go? There's a third one a second ago. Now he's gone. I'm not complaining, but I would like a little consistency. Maybe. Man, I'm dodging all the bullets. Even though they're not really bullets, are they? Man, I feel like I'm actually really overpowered right now. There's the cutscene that I wanted. There is a holocron in there with all of those little Rodian rippers or... Heavy Rodian defense dudes. I don't know what the hell they're called. I really don't. So let's finish this. There's actually a holocron right above us. Starkiller, get it in the cutscene. That would be really cool. Can I kill this thing? I want to destroy the ship. Uh, I don't think I can. It's just part of the background now. I'm going to take out all the enemies then. Uh, whoa. He, he, that was like murder-suicide. He just killed him and his friends. Is there another dropship coming in? No, it's leaving. Alright, so you need to die. That was weird. I did not control Star Killer when we went off in that weird direction. Alright, so... I guess you're the last one. The last of us. 
So yeah, I, the, the ending of this level is pretty notoriously bad, so I'm really not looking forward to that. Um, no, I'm not going to level up. See, there's that one. Alright, number seven is up above us. That's the one we saw in the cutscene. Alright, let's get up here. And then we have to get on these platforms. I think this is the way you're supposed to go, like, normally anyway, so... That's not too much of an annoyance. That you have to go up on those platforms and do a bit of light platforming. Oh yeah, that was great. That was real great, Star Killer. Just hit your head on the thing, doesn't matter. It's not like I'm trying to finish this level sooner or anything like that. Yeah, this is definitely the way you're supposed to go. And I think there's another one right... Seriously, Star Killer, you are sometimes a douche to me. Anyway, I was about to say, I think there's another one, like, right inside this thing. Oh my god, I guess I have to do the dash, which is stupid, I shouldn't have to do that. That's really, really dumb. This is what I'm talking about, the platforming in this game is definitely not as good as the second game. I mean, the gameplay in general isn't as good as in the second game. Like, I do think the two lightsabers is actually better than one, but overall, this game is better. Uh, let's see, where's number eight? Oh, that was number eight. Um, alright, I know where it is. It's in front of the sand crawler, apparently, is what I wrote. Oh boy, what's going on? Did my game freeze? Or is it just doing that loading thing? Seriously? Really, game? You suck. So much balls.